Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that affects so many of us perfectionism. It's great to strive for excellence, but when perfectionism takes over. In this video, we'll explore seven effective ways to stop perfectionism from ruining your life. So, let's get started. 1. Understand the perfectionism trap. The first step in overcoming perfectionism is understanding what it is. Perfectionism is like a trap, a mental cage that keeps you constantly chasing an unattainable ideal. It's often driven by fear, fear of failure, fear of criticism, or even fear of success. And what does it lead to? Procrastination, anxiety, and an endless cycle of self-doubt. It's crucial to recognize when you're stuck in this trap. Let's break it down further. Perfectionism often manifests as all or nothing thinking. You either achieve absolute perfection or you're a failure. It's essential to understand that this kind of thinking is not realistic, nor is it healthy. Two, set realistic goals. One of the most effective ways to combat perfectionism is to set realistic, achievable goals. Instead of aiming for an impossibly high standard, Break your larger tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. By doing this, you not only reduce the overwhelming pressure, but also give yourself a sense of accomplishment as you complete each step. For example, if you're working on a big project, start by outlining the key milestones. Then, break each milestone into smaller, actionable tasks. This approach not only helps you stay organized, but also keeps perfectionism at bay. Three. Embrace mistakes as learning opportunities. Another crucial step in overcoming perfectionism is to change your relationship with mistakes. Instead of fearing them, embrace them as valuable learning opportunities. Understand that making mistakes is a part of life. It's how we grow and improve. Consider each mistake as a chapter in your personal growth story. Think about it. Some of the most significant discoveries and inventions in history happened because someone made a mistake and learned from it. 4. Practice self-compassion now. Let's talk about self-compassion. Perfectionism often goes hand-in-hand hand with self-criticism. Instead of being your own harshest critic, try being your own best friend. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer to a friend facing a similar situation. When you make a mistake or fall short of your expectations, acknowledge your feelings, but don't beat yourself up over it. Self-compassion involves recognizing your humanity accepting imperfections, and showing yourself the love and care you deserve. Here's a simple exercise. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and imagine a warm, soothing light surrounding you. That light represents self-compassion. Whenever you feel overwhelmed by perfectionism, tap into this wellspring of self-compassion to ease your inner critic. 5. Set time limits. Perfectionism often leads to overworking and burnout. To prevent this, one practical strategy is to set time limits for tasks. When you decide how much time you'll dedicate to a task, you create a sense of urgency and focus. For example, if you're working on a project, set a timer for a specific duration. When the timer goes off, it's a signal to step back and evaluate your progress. This forces you to prioritize what's essential and let go of unnecessary details. There are various time management techniques like the Pomodoro technique that can help you implement this strategy effectively. Experiment and find the one that works best for you. Six, prioritize self-care perfectionism often keeps us glued to our desks, tirelessly striving for perfection. But remember, taking care of your physical and mental well-being is essential. Prioritize self-care activities like exercise, meditation, or indulging in hobbies. These activities can help you relax, recharge, and gain a fresh perspective. By nurturing yourself, you reduce the grip of perfectionism, and you'll likely find that your creativity and productivity improve as well. Meditation, for instance, is a powerful tool to calm your mind and silence your inner critic. Even just a few minutes of mindfulness each day can make a significant difference in combating perfectionism. 7. Seek support last but certainly not least. Remember that you don't have to face perfectionism alone. It's okay to seek support. Share your struggles with trusted friends, family, or even consider talking to a therapist or counselor. They can provide valuable perspectives, coping strategies, and a safe space to express your feelings. 
Sometimes, just talking about your perfectionism tendencies can be incredibly liberating. Joining a support group or an online community of like-minded individuals who are also working on overcoming perfectionism can be incredibly empowering. You can learn from others, share your experiences, and feel less isolated in your journey. Conclusion in conclusion, perfectionism can indeed be a significant obstacle in our lives, but it's a hurdle we can overcome. By understanding its nature, setting realistic goals, embracing mistakes, practicing self-compassion, setting time limits, prioritizing self-care, and seeking support, we can break free from the perfectionism trap and live a more balanced, fulfilling life. Thank you for joining me in today's video. If you found these detailed strategies helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with someone who needs to hear this message, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more in-depth content on personal development and well-being.